Hello, it's Healthy Gut Girl, Catalina Martone, and welcome. I'm about to drop a serious health bomb of knowledge that you can apply towards your life right now for free. The importance of pH. You would think getting healthy would be so easy in today's day with all the information at our fingertips, hundreds of diets, thousands of healing modalities, millions of articles, and Lord knows everyone is an expert, right? But all that saturation means that it can get awfully confusing when all we really want is to feel better, especially when the information from experts is totally conflicting. I experienced the same frustration with my health and with my education. So how did I figure out who to listen to? My motto became to keep it simple and get back to basics. Cause I'm like that. I need things to be simple or I'll quit. The bottom line is the human body needs X, Y, and Z to thrive, no matter who you are. So finding out what X, Y, and Z are is what became my quest. This helped me weed through a lot of the experts Though most of them are truly experts and they all have value, I was able to weave through most of them because they all skip over the basic things that we humans need. In other words, a lot of what's being touted from the incredibly complex to the exotic is all excellent and helpful information. But most of us are missing the most fundamental basic knowledge. Like how much water are we supposed to be drinking? And these basics need to be in place before you can really make a dent in your own health with anything exotic like Garcinia Cambogia for weight loss. It's putting the cart before the horse. And well, I'm here to put the cart back behind that horse's patootie. So the importance of pH. Oy, if you get online and you look up pH, your head will explode. This subject took me the longest to comb through. There are some seriously confusing facts misleading information, and I don't think anybody means to mislead anybody. It's just that the subject to pH is so complex that it ends up being very mystified. But I am here to demystify it for you. First of all, what is pH? It stands for the potential for hydrogen, and who cares? Unless you're gonna be a biochemist, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that everything has a pH measurement alkaline or acidic, your pool, your sweat, your toilet water, your dog's drool, your digestion, your blood, your urine, and they all tell us something different and valuable. And a lot of amazing experts, like one of my favorites, Dr. Robert Young of the pH Miracle, he finds it really important to check the pH of your saliva, and he has good reasons. However, it turns out that there's one in particular that tells us something very, very special the pH measurement of our urine, first thing in the morning only, right when you get out of bed for the day. It's even more basic and fundamental than our saliva pH because it tells us what the measurement of tissue oxygen is in our body. And this equals the mineral content of our body. Why is this important? Because minerals are the currency of the body, truly. Our bodies need minerals to do everything. And I mean everything. You can't even absorb the vitamins from your food without adequate minerals. So before any fancy vitamin, fancy diet, fancy berry from the Amazon or calorie counting spree you go on, the most important information that you need to know about your own body is, do I have enough minerals? And checking your first morning urine pH will tell you this. Now the next thing you need to know is the five fundamentals of pH. So get a pen. So first of all, you should know the optimum pH range is 6.4 to 7.0. Write that down. And you can check this with litmus paper from your drugstore. Okay, so five pH fundamentals. What makes my pH too acidic or too alkaline? By the way, both are not good. You don't wanna to be too acidic and you don't wanna to be too alkaline, okay? So number one, stress. Being in the sympathetic nervous system all the time, fight or flight, stressed out, creates acidity. Number two, dehydration. Being thirsty and dehydrated, being without water is incredibly, incredibly acidic for you. Number three, poor diet. Not just bad food, but alcohol, caffeine, medication, 
Even too much acidic food that might be good for you, like animal protein, too much of it is not good. That creates a lot of an acidic environment as well. Number four, lack of sleep. This also keeps you in a stress uh, mode. So definitely makes you acidic. Number five, infection or toxicity. Now the first four, pretty upfront, right? Once I reduce the stress in my life, no problem. Hydrate my body, no problem. Correct my diet with good foods and alkaline foods and high quality minerals and supplements. And of course, get some sleep, no problem. My pH should start to normalize. But if it doesn't, well, then we know that we might be dealing with some infection, maybe toxicity or an old root canal or a dental issue you've been ignoring, or maybe some heavy metal toxicity, chemical toxicity. Number five can be pretty tricky, but the good news is checking your pH can be a great barometer for your health. And by the way, it's pretty addicting to have pH paper by the toilet and like every few weeks just check it. I like to see the changes when I do really good things for myself and then when I stuff my face with pizza and beer, I like to see the changes. It's like a window into your own health. So now you know one of the first fundamental basics to getting healthy. Stay tuned for my next serious knowledge health bomb and again information you can apply to your life right now for free!